Raccoons are so abundant in the city because they are, are opportunistic, so they're going to find ways to survive regardless of whether they have access to the green bin or not. And while you may not have liked the raccoons going through your green bin, their alternative food sources may not make you any happier. Yeah, their lawns are going to be dug up more than um, they have been in the past. The bird feeders will be attacked um, because, again, they can't get the food out of the green bin. They're going to go to the apple trees and the pear trees in the backyard. So, yeah, there, there's going to be a whole set of different problems. But chances are, if you have a raccoon that likes your yard, you're already dealing with those issues. I don't think the er raccoons ever ignored your garden, so they always prefer fresh food over the garbage. So certainly my experience would suggest that they always go for your garden no matter, no matter what. So, I, so you should be vigilant. One thing that could happen as a result of no green bins and less access to food is less babies. Because when they're eating less, they will have fewer babies. So the numbers should naturally decline over a number of years if they don't have the continued access to food. While there may be those who are sympathetic to the raccoons, there is one thing that homeowners should definitely not do. Homeowners might start to feed wildlife, thinking that the animals without the green bin are going to be put in hard times. People should not feed wildlife because it takes away their fear from people and that's only going to get them closer and that's when you're really going to see problems if ever um, an animal is going to approach thinking you have food. It could get into an altercation and you could get bit. In fact, one of the only times that you will see raccoons definitely get aggressive is when they're protecting their young and of course that happens at this time of year. For tips on how to deal with it, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. In Markham, Audra Brown, City News.